This one, the first one indicted, if you will, charge against the defendant, Donald Trump. And it goes way back to 2016. I always remember the time right before the 2016 election. And it comes out during the course of future proceedings after that election, that right before the election, Donald Trump, through his attorney and so-called fixer, one named Michael Cohen, had offered to and provided to a woman named Stormy Daniels, another woman named Karen McDougal, $130,000 and $150,000, respectively, basically to be quiet. What you need to do under New York law, and that's how this is prosecuted, what you do then is you need to make, your, make certain that your financial records, including representations about legal representation by Michael Cohen, are accurate and true. Donald Trump, the crux of this once again is, he reports these as legal fees. Michael Cohen later, not immediately, but later comes forward and says, no, no, these were not legal fees. I was paying somebody off at the behest of Donald Trump. The reality is I always regard this as an election interference case. It's the first among the several. Why? Because what you're doing is you're trying to stop the American public from knowing something that is arguably relevant about your candidacy. That's also affecting the vote. And so it partakes of those things that are also pending in Georgia and in D.C. It's basically election interference at its core.